sitting only two or three shots. I'ma show you how to turn it up a notch. First, you get a swimming pool full of liquor. Fuck your mama, fuck your daddy, fuck your whole family, bitch! Fuck you! Fuck! 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 Nah, but what's up guys, Peter here, and today, this is gonna be the truth about Pretty Boy Fredo. A lot of stuff has been going on before you guys dislike. I know a lot of, like, these videos are like that. Before you guys dislike, before you leave a hate comment, anything like that, just please watch the whole video because I want to tell you guys the truth. You guys deserve the truth, especially those of you guys are like Fredo fans or that have been watching him because I've been watching him since like 50k and like you guys deserve the truth that's why I'm making this I'm not making this because I just want to like expose somebody like Fredo's fans you guys have done so much for him and like you guys deserve to know the truth so that's why I'm making this make sure you guys drop a like subscribe if you're new let's get right into it so first off we have Fredo faking pranks this was actually exposed by H3H3 or he's the actually like the biggest person to speak up on it so he kind of started this whole thing and uh, he made a video on like how Fredo's video, uh, he's kind of making fun of it for being clickbait. And like, there's nothing wrong with clickbait. That's just how YouTube is now. But uh, like faking pranks, that's where it gets a little bit iffy. And he he did expose it for being fake. I mean, uh, here's some screenshots right here. Uh, when he was like introducing the video, he was showing like basically talking to the camera, and you could see that red circle. That's actually the wall. And uh, later in the video, he said that Jasmine punched that hole into the wall and like that, but it was already there before. So how could he have done that? So some people could say, oh, he recorded the intro after uh, he did the prank, but he like right after intro, he shows him like setting up the prank. So like that's parts in it, but he's also faked other like he's also faked other pranks and I've known this for a while, but it's really up to you guys like faking pranks. I know a lot of people don't like it. And, um, it does make the prank, knowing that it's fake, uh, like, to some degree, it makes it, to like, oh, it's not real, like, it's not her real reaction, right? So, like, it's not gonna be as good. But at the end of the day, I mean, it is a fake prank, and a lot of pranks are fake on YouTube, to be honest. I mean, it's really up to you if you think Fredo faking pranks is bad, but, like, I don't know, he should at least say that it's, like, a skit or something. I mean, I, I'm not gonna just, like, go out there and just, like, fake a prank and not admit that, because, like, it's obviously fake. The next topic, now this is where things start to get really interesting, uh, like as you all know Fredo, many people don't know Fredo before uh, he was big like this, right, he has 2 million subscribers, like he's really been grinding, but uh, the thing is, he was talking about, oh like YouTubers using your name and stuff like that, and to be honest, I mean that's just news, news is news, if people want to hear about you because you're like something's happening i mean a lot of people know who you are so they're gonna want to know the news and that's just how the world is if lebron james like hits a game winner it's not clout chasing if you just report on it or if you're like oh shoot like that's a dope game winner he's not gonna call somebody out oh no creativity you're a clout chaser like that's just how the world works then lsk replies to him saying oh wait but like in your like he's literally putting chris move in his description and that's growing off his name so like how is that any different right i mean title is a title but he's also put other people in his titles like he had a video from like a couple weeks ago where he put archie goodwin in the title and the thumbnail so how is it okay for you to do that but when any of your supporters do it they have no creativity and it's just not right that he's not being honest to like everybody that supports and everybody that's watching all his videos that subscribed to him on twitch that just watches his streams in general like for example his twitter banner is hot Hollywood, which means he's not Hollywood, right? So he's always gonna like help people out. He's always there for his subs, stuff like that. But if you go to his channel, he disabled related channels, which means nobody's channel is gonna pop up when you go to his. Uh, a lot of people uh, have this thing. If you go to another person's channel, they're gonna have something called related channels, and it just pops up like with channels that are related to yours that post similar content that you might want to check out. And he literally disabled that. While sat, like, if you want to disable it, then your videos don't really pop up and recommend it in, as much. But he rather sacrifice that, sacrifice his, uh, like, subscribers, sacrifice growing his channel just to, like, not help out other YouTubers. Like, that's, I don't know, that's really kind of Hollywood to me. And then you guys probably know CK the Great or Avnish the Boss, that's who Fredo plays with. He doesn't, you know why they don't have YouTubes? Because Fredo doesn't let them have YouTubes. The people that are helping him out with all these gameplays and stuff, he's not even letting them have a YouTube. He's not helping them at all. He's just using them. Then listen to this. Last year. Broke. Spam up broke. Spam up broke. Spam up broke. Spam up broke. Last year. Bro, they said I was doing it for the guap. 
bitch swear. But I've been hacked, Guap, and I don't even take this YouTube shit serious, nigga. This just for, this just a hobby, nigga. And that second video, you guys may not have seen it. That's like a year. That's literally what he's talking about. Oh, last year. That was like the year before. That was like a year before that one million thing. So like. I don't know, I don't feel like it's fair to everybody that's supporting him that he's just being dishonest and stuff like that. Those are just a few examples. He also has a video of like him versus Kel hit him up. Oh, oh wait, I thought you were not supposed to put YouTubers in your titles. Oh, I thought that's not creative. Oh wait, that has a million views. Like, that's a lot for him. He posted that at like 200 something K. Like, I don't know, he's just really being dishonest. But then things get juicy. Things go really wrong. Uh, there's a screenshot of somebody watching his Twitch and there was actually view bots. He pretty boy Fredo like the top like why would you view bot? Pretty boy Fredo actually view bots, and it, he's probably been doing this for a while. That's probably how he came up on Twitch. If you go to his stream, uh, you can see uh, the viewer list, right? And you see like a bunch of accounts with just numbers and like like why would somebody ever like? There's not gonna just be anybody that names their account numbers, and those are just like a few there. But like those are just the ones that start with the zero. There's way more. It's just like random six digit numbers and those are bots so uh yeah if you go to these accounts also i searched the accounts they're just bots they're not following anybody they're not actually like they don't have any followers why would you be consistently watching fredo's stream if you're not even following him right so yeah pretty boy fredo actually view bots which is honestly crazy that he's been doing it this long like yeah as you can see this stream is from 2k17 after he's at like 1.8 1.9 something like that million subscribers on youtube and he's still view botting so i don't know this is just crazy to me but uh yeah what do you guys think i mean i don't know this is a little bit suspicious i mean h3 h3 uh made a really good video it was really funny it was just basically exposing fredo for like faking a prank but he did it in a really funny way and he wasn't being like disrespectful or anything but that's it that's what you guys deserve that's the truth about fredo i mean a lot of it i couldn't even believe myself until i saw the proof but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for more daily NBA 2K17 content. I did double upload today. Make sure you check that out. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.